What is the biggest source of stress for the player and the parent? Bigger than playing time? Bigger than tryouts? Bigger than showcases? I received an email recently from the mother of a U14 boy titled, Is It Too Late? She felt they missed the opportunity to develop him since many of his friends were getting better faster than he was. The father of a U11 daughter told me she does not see the field and totally misses the best passes. He told me he keeps trying to get her to be more aware, but she just doesn't get it. She's a young kid of 10. I spoke to a U15 girl beginning the recruiting stage who constantly holds herself back and is so much better than she plays, according to her parents. What all these stories have in common is a misunderstanding of player development that wreaks havoc on the player's confidence, the parent's stress level, and contributions they make to their teams. The first problem in these stories is a constant comparison to others as if we are all made the same. Let me be clear, we are not made the same. The second problem is the belief that there is a set age where the child should be taking off. Is it 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 18? There is no set age, but I will say do the right things in the elementary and middle school years and by the time they are 16, they'll be set up for long-term success. The kids get the worst of the stress of development. They know they are missing some things in their development and they feel their parents' worries. Chase, what did the coach say after the game? How do you think you played? Is that team any good? How can we lost to them? You think you played your hardest, Chase? What makes it worse is they may see others who don't do any extra training at all getting all the praise and attention. When I was growing up, I was told to work hard and I'd be successful. They taught that development is like an upward arrow. The truth is, this is a nice picture, but it does not work this way at all. A quick web search shows how others attempt to explain it. While I think this is a bit more accurate, it does not give us anything we can do with it. A few years ago working with my daughter, I came up with a very simple idea looking at the four dimensions of player development. Technical, tactical, physical, and psychological. I call it the clicking point. If every player develops on these four dimensions, what I know for certain is that no two players develop at the same time or in the same way on all four. No two on the entire planet. We think we are just like our friends and should develop just like them, but we are not. If we draw this in a chart, it will look something like this. Technical is time with the ball. It is cumulative, which means the hours you put in working on the ball outside of club adds up until you get to the clicking point and then they act like a multiplier to rocket you upward. There will be times when you see no improvement, even for weeks. Stay with it. Practice with proper technique and focus will always benefit you in the long run. Always. Tactical is understanding the game. It is also cumulative, but learning game concepts is much easier when the child reaches the high school years. Don't expect a 10-year-old to understand much beyond the first pass. Their cognitive reasoning has not developed yet. Physical, this is one of the biggest differences among us. Early bloomers, late bloomers, steady plotters. We are all different. For most of us, our genes kick in and strength, speed, and conditioning training begins to pay off around 13 and 14 and up. If you don't do any strength, speed, and conditioning and you're 14 and older, talk to a trainer or watch your inbox for my talk on it. Psychological. This is emotional maturity, social intelligence. Work ethic, passion, discipline, motivation, mental toughness. Lack of it often presents itself in players who shrink in competitive situations like training and games. These are skills that can be learned and one of the greatest divides between parents and players. Why don't you play more aggressively, says the parent. I am, says the player. This player clicked at age 15. Before that, they were labeled as not having certain important traits to make it, when in fact they were developing perfectly all along. 
It's just that coaches, parents, and even the player could not see it yet. I interviewed Heather O'Reilly after winning the Olympic gold, and she said her clicking point was 13 after doing so well at ODP. That's pretty young, but Heather is likely one of the top athletes in the world in her game. For one of my own kids, it was 16 when she started getting select high-level team invitations across the country. What's important to understand is that you are not like anyone else. Focus on what you can control, your technical skill. You will know it has clicked for you because you and others will be surprised at your development in such a short period of time. They'll say things like, wow, he's a natural, or amazing, she developed overnight, which of course is totally wrong. You are quietly developing in the background, out of sight, plugging away at your individual training and applying it to your team over many weeks, months, and years. Then it came one day that your physical and psychological maturity converged with your technical and tactical and you reached the clicking point and became a new player and a new person. Let me repeat, it will come at different times and different ways for every one of you. Let me leave you with a quote from Abraham Lincoln. I shall study and prepare myself and someday my chance will come. He was underestimated and failed more times in his personal and political life than any of his peers but he stayed the course and he changed the world. Now, what are you going to do?